and boom, I'm better than Izzo who's spending like <laughs> No one cares! Thank you, Red. Someone understands all you need in PvP is a 130 Siron, so easy peasy. Now, if you're like uh, me and the other couple million players that don't own a 130 Siron and can't put level 10 team speeds and all diamond relics on your PvP team, this video might give you some help on how you can climb some PvP trophies. Is that how are you gonna talk? How are you gonna talk shit when you got three 130s and I'm over here sitting on defensive wins? There's like three hours left of trophies and I'm doing my last like one battle and then I'm not even gonna try because I can't fight against teams like this. All 130s guaranteed to all level 10 relics or level 10 runes and all diamond relics maxed out. So get after your high goddamn horse. So understand, if you have a 130 Zymon with all level 10 speed and all level 10 team speed on your team, there is not very much skill in that. I understand you're not climbing above the top 250 because you barely beat me because I wasn't doing anything in the last couple of hours. I was just letting my defense win. So, so thanks for that call out, but 130 Zymon, pay to win. We will talk about this legend first. This, this legend is going to be important and for a couple things. This legend has an insane trait, uh, AOE evasion, immunity to blind. So here's the legend on Turinga and I just wanna go over the skills really quickly and then we're gonna talk about what, why this legend is so important to me. Now, I feel that this legend is going to provide a lot of options to a lot of different players in two senses. One, in gives you another choice as a legend when you know you won't go first because that's the biggest thing in war and in PvP. Who goes first? This legend will allow you to not have to worry about going first because you're going to evade all skills with the exception of a couple things that might remove positive status effects. This this is the super insane light damage, remove positive status effects, and a mega stun to all enemies. That's insane, but it's a super. Uh, it the, the main thing on this legend is that it gives immunity to uh, blindness and it has an AoE evasion at the start of each of their turns so they're they're going to evade until they go um, and even when Elvira goes she has a couple of skills that actually give her evasion so here's one apply summon and bleeding one enemy and evasion uh, damage protection 50% to while you're taking you're basically doing a double damage reduction on the enemies uh, blocks all damage except for light this is extremely powerful because if you go against a say it's in a book and not the light category this is going to really help you because they're not gonna be able to attack you uh, Summer all enemies, that's pretty powerful. Um, the one that I really, really like on this legend is removes all negative test effects from all allies, heals allies by 35%, pre applies precision and damage boost. This is a great, great, great support skill. Um, it has another one here, removes negative status effects, heals all allies by 50%, blocks all damage from uh, except light for one ally, that's just one ally. Um, and then a couple more that just give damage boost, negative status effects, blah, blah, blah. It has healing, remove negative status effects, uh, remove positive status effects from the enemies, and then precision and uh, damage boost. I mean, that that's a pretty powerful legend on top of the trait, which is to all allies. Where I think this legend is going to shine is wars and PvP. I know that you can use this for a lot of things, but I think this, this legend is going to be really powerful PvP because it really stretches out what you can do if you're going against a team that is a lot stronger. If you've been saving up your coins, I really, really love Necromancer. I think Barbell is fantastic. Gore Talk, I think, has a little... He's he's not too great, so maybe that's why they put him out first. Um, but I do plan on getting this legend, and you will see him on my channel in a couple days, and I'll put him to, put her to 100. Uh, but let's talk about where she might shine the most and give you guys an advantage. Obviously, War, uh, there's no doubt that if you put this legend on defense, the, the, the enemy team is going to be kind of confused on how things are going to work. They have to really change around their things. It'll be more advantageous on offense, but PvP defense is going to really shine. Now, a lot of this video was honestly about PvP. I wanted to make this video mostly about PvP. I had some issues with the audio and the... I just made a video a couple days ago and it got ruined because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to record still after a year of YouTube. Um, but I want to talk about this because it's important to me. I think that there are a lot of players that struggle to get higher in trophies. And there are some really easy ways that I think that I can give you guys some tips on how to climb and get better rewards, gold chest, uh, silver chest. Um, but I think that this is this is a lot of new news for a lot of people. Now, it's not necessarily about the best legends on offense and defense. It's about intelligently picking your battles, 
changing your legends up if you can, and then having a powerful defense. I will tell you right now, the strongest thing in this game for PvP is a powerful defense. It doesn't have to be inherently good legends, but they have to work well together. Healing, um, reviving, uh, sometimes life. Definitely going first would be an advantage, but relics have a strong pull in this meta right now. But I'm going to give you guys a couple examples of what might work effectively on offense and then how you pick your battles. Right now, you can tell that I have some really tough battles here. I'm already, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm 438 and I haven't attacked for a couple days, at least a, at least a day. I made this video, I made a video at least a day ago. So yeah, so about, an, about a day ago, I, I made my last attack, but I was around 4,000 trophies. But again, I will stress this, defense is so much more important than offense because you will honestly not have to do anything and you'll keep your trophies if you have a strong defense. And this is based around a couple things that we already talked about. Uh, longevity, survivability, and then support because you don't have an advantage going in on defense because you don't know who the enemy is going to pick. They will always kind of have an advantage because they can pick legends that counter yours. One of the best counters to my team is a Tamarion because they all have skills that have cooldowns. So I really struggle against Tamarions, but I can't pick my own defensive battles. But I will say it has given me a big advantage um, is my defense. Now, obviously, I can lose to anyone. Anyone can pick a team that they know can beat me. So, say this city drains stamina, they'll go first. Uh, definitely, I don't have any 130s on my defense. I don't have any 120s on my defense. I have a couple, I think a 110 and a 115 and a 105. Um, but it's, yeah, okay, so two 115s and a 105. But I tell you right now, and if you can prove me wrong, I'll do something stupid. I'll, I'll wear makeup in the next video if you can prove me wrong that anyone else in the top... 115 or in the top 300 of pvp last season had a single legend that was not 130 i guarantee you there's probably a couple that had 120s but there's no one that had a lower total team like by two 115s and 105 on defense than me in the top 300 there's no way you prove me wrong i'll wear makeup as you can tell I'm going against some pretty tough teams here 115s 130s 120s and these are good legends prince charmless you give him one turn He's going to wreck your team. Flamerion, he can wipe a team because he has life. Xyla, and a, a 130 Xyla and a 130 Thetes, I mean, that's impressive too. I mean, I'm, I'm beating these teams. Now, these teams are just over 4,000, but I'm getting those. These are defensive trophies. This is really important. I've got like, what is it? Like, like nine, like eight defensive wins in a row. I mean, I lost this one, but again, eight defense or seven defenses, defensive wins in a row. That's impressive. That's what keeps you in high trophies is a good defense. And yes, this might be a pay to win team, but I can give you guys some tips on what might be important on defense. You, firstly, you have to have, I think one of the most important things on defense is traits. If you're not talking about simply 130s with level 10 runes and maxed out diamond relics, I'm talking about traits are important on defense. Skills are important too, and then having a way to survive. So, legends that can give stamina and regeneration, uh, Ingvar, uh, the Samuels, um, there are some really important ones you're going to see. If you're constantly getting attacked by a Voltaic, put one, put someone on your defense like Tijin, who isn't a pay to win. I see a lot of legends with extra turns. I mean, obviously, Sammy, Timmy, Volt, Xyla, Demise, Charmless. I mean, you get the point. Uh, even Flamerion has an extra turn skill. Having that extra turn denier where is, you, you know, your Tijin, Sammy, or not Sammy, Tijin, Faraday, or Necromancer, they're really important. But I think this new War Master is going to shake things up and going to make it really tough. So, this is one that I think is going to be really important. If you can put this on your defensive team, just put team speeds on it. You don't have to have, you don't have to have any speed on your team because they're going to deny everything, with the exception of anything that can remove positive stack effects. Again, you'll see that the AOE evasion is going to block every denier, with the exception of, I, I think it might not go. I don't know if it, I don't know if cooldowns activated goes through it, but. Uh, Barbiel is one of the only ones I can think of that would have both uh, disabled traits and then something like a blind or so, I don't quite remember. But this legend you can put on defense with some speed, team speed I mean, and it can keep your team alive. If you have been saving up for one War Master and you want to climb higher in PvP, this might be the one for you. Necromancer is good but he's not AI proof because I know he'll just keep using that same skill over and over and over again. And it kind of sucks. Same with the Flame Marion. He uses an extra turn skill over and over and over again. Social point. Fix your game, please. 
fixture legends at least so i think that's gonna be really important but let me also go into the next part right behind important strong survivable defenses is attacking intelligently now i don't know if it's very fair to say that i have a chance against any of these teams all 130s guaranteed all diamonds and all level 10 rooms there's absolutely no way i'm going to take on some of these guys i mean it's it's really not worth it i mean look at these teams uh, two nemesis three nemesis what am I supposed to do? There's really not a team that I feel comfortable with, but that's okay because again, if you have a strong defense, you don't have to attack. Now, going against, and this is, this is what I want to say, there is a really easy AI proof defense. If you have a team that is very similar to this, even this, you don't have to have the same relics, you don't have to have them 130s, you don't have to have um, diamonds on them or anything. I just think this setup, even at you know 3,000 trophies, is extremely powerful. You can go against teams that you know are going to go first, say, Jassister and a Chance Pet, Thedes, whatever. You put it, If you can get a Charging Banner, which is a Temerion, you know, almost necessity there, um, even if you don't go first, you're not going to get denied. Now... These are not legends you can't get for 250 or so gems. These are legends that most of you have, and I guarantee you, you probably have a Timmy and a Flamarion if you're watching this video. Tankerion, he has a healing skill that is really important in this game. Uh, if you do put a, a life rune on your Flamarion, he's got a heal itself by 30% and heals another ally by 100%. That's really powerful. And then uh, heals a target by 50%. And so you can heal your Timmy. And your flame Marion. I'm putting team life on mine. Again, I'm going against 130s with all level 10 runes. I don't think I can take on any of these guys and have a real fighting chance against them. The only available defense I have is against this guy, and I might have a chance, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Again, I'm not picking in a defense here because usually if you're picking a defense, you want to go against these guys, but you want to pick one that counters. If you have to pick three legends that have all immunity to possession, say they have an Chance Pet and a Jassister, and then maybe an attacker like a Gersus. Then use three legends that are immune to possession, so you can't get possessed, and you can possess their Gersus. This is perfect. Um, as long as their Volt doesn't go, which I don't think he will, I can just stop time on him. So that was just kind of an example. It's good against a lot of teams. And honestly, even if you want to use Incnatius, he's also a very strong legend because he's got a staff and you can put that uh, AOE stamina removal on his on his staff if you have that one. I know he has another couple, but he also has a, uh, a blind and daze in the same turn, which is really strong as well. So you can consider using him, put a life on two team speed. I promise he'll work just as good as tank carrying on will. Maybe not as much because he can't heal, but he, he's still really strong. So like I said, I think Elvira is going to be a real shakeup to PvP. You won't necessarily know if you're going first, and if you are, you have to work your, your play style around the legend that is going to give AoE evasion to all legends. I think this legend is going to be very strong, and I'm really excited to show you the skills of it when I get it, because I'm going to do the first three levels of the dungeon, get to 105, um, and from there we'll, we'll see what it looks like. But um, Thanks for watching the video. If any of you climb some trophies and you want to show me like how you're doing and if this team works for you, please tell me. Tell me what works for you guys. I have some friends that have the exact same team as me. Uh, Nico and Gabe, I think, have some like the exact same two Sammies and a Necro at 105. I know it, it's not a cheap team, but they also are in the top 2,000. They're always above 4,000 trophies because it is a strong defensive team. I'm going to keep taking suggestions from my discord uh, video suggestions little sub channel um, and, and I'll keep doing things for you guys want to see also we are giving away a probable 99% assurance to the team race win we're probably gonna win we haven't lost one um, 
We're giving away that spot this Friday uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern, probably like 4 Pacific. I think it's like 11 UK uh, for a couple spots on the race. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to beat Red at like a, the, the donation thing, so I think he's got that one locked down. But um, they're also giving away, I think she's also giving away something for Instagram and um, one of our subs. So links, the link will be down below. So check that out. Make sure if you want a chance to win the, the legend from our team, because we haven't lost yet, make sure to check out the stream. It's, it'll be this, this Friday. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Catch you in the next one.